what I need from you is under, right? talk about um while i'm here i want to talk about these children fighting their um teachers these children fighting their teachers i'm just so astounded by this these kids are getting out of control um i think that um i think some funky said it best that um you know if you are into watching these kids then um kudos to you because I, I wouldn't go into that type of career you got first grader shooting a teachers the six-year-old seven-year-old first grader shot his teacher you have some teachers um this other teacher the other day was ribbing up a fight i'm not joking i'll take your phone to the office no, who said a minute? 30 seconds? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Hurry up. What I need you to do is stand by that door and hold it in case someone comes in. Yeah, you have to be a door holder. 30 seconds. When starts the clock, that's when it goes. This is not a joke. Be quiet. letting the students fight and she went to jail for escalating fights and allowing the students to just whoop each other ass and i don't blame her but then again it's like they already off the chain you are going to perpetuate um the issue that we already have and that is these children are so out of control that they may have respect for their parents but they have no respect when they go to school and deal with um, other adults that they don't deem as respectable as their parents. You know what I'm saying? And a part of that is the parents. The parents should um, have so much instillment in these children. It should be already instilled that you will not go to school and try these teachers. You don't try me. You're not going to try these teachers. But I don't know what the words are that these parents use today. I assume that they use those words. But let's not just blame the parents. Children can be defiant and completely disrespectful. And if you don't have children, you don't know what they're dealing with. You don't know what this generation of kids are doing now. They're probably telling their parents about themselves and calling out shit, you know, like, if you're going to say, I said, bitch, and I shouldn't be saying, bitch, you said, bitch. And then when the parents say, I'm an adult, it doesn't matter. You, you know what I'm saying? And then the parent feel hit a little bit. And now it causes the parent to, um, you know, feel like, you know what? Let me chill out because I can't be doing that if I'm telling her not to do it or if I'm telling him not to do it. And I think that that's what causes them to become lenient because now you got children or young adults or teenagers who are telling their parents, you did it. How you going to tell me not to do it and you do it? I think it's a more of that now. I think that the new generation are more um, into calling out their parents and causing their parents to be a little, you know, uh, pull back on their discipline because they begin to feel like, feel guilty or feel like, you know, that's true. How can I say something to you when I'm the way I am? And since it's so hard for me to change it, then let me just shut the hell up and stop saying something to you. Um, but I don't know. I feel bad for these teachers. You also have this student um, that's prompted this because this student the other day, she is fighting her teacher and um, the teacher took her phone and she felt like, you know, entitled enough to tell this lady, get my phone back. I'm not getting your face if you don't get my phone back. She didn't get the phone back. And of course, a fight happened. 
Rocky Mount police say they're investigating now a fight involving a student and a substitute teacher at Rocky Mount High School. A profanity-laced video has surfaced and shared online multiple times. It shows the pair arguing over a cell phone and then everything turning physical. Take a look. Situation continues to escalate, obviously, to this moment. Both the student and the substitute teacher swinging at each other. Within seconds, the student is on the ground, restrained by the sub, disturbing all the way around. It is important to point out, we do not know what happened before the recording started or how that incident ultimately ended. Police identified the substitute teacher as Xaviera Steele. Nash County Public School System is telling us that she has worked with them since 2021. The student was only identified as a juvenile. They completely tore the classroom up. You got the little girl screaming, go get the police. I mean, somebody help. I'm just like, you're asking for help now, but a minute ago, you wasn't asking for help when you, when you was all in this lady face. I think the main thing should have been, let me go get the principal and let the principal know that she took my phone. And if taking my phone is the only disciplinary action she can make in this situation, then... I'd rather be sent home because I don't want her to have my phone. So send me home. Send me send me away. Call my mom and um, deal with the consequences of what your mom has said. Because you jumping up in this lady face, I I would think if you're afraid to be sent home um, or if you didn't take that route to just go home and get my phone and I'm just going to go home and leave school, then apparently um, your mama wouldn't even have you jump up in this lady face like this. She's probably going to get it all in your ass. These kids, sometimes people say, you don't do it at home, so why you do it here? Sometimes these kids don't do this stuff at home. Sometimes the things that these kids do at school is not what their parents allow them to do. I know my child goes to school and the teacher calls and lets me know something that she's did um, or something that she's done that she's never done at home or behaviors that she has at school that she has never exhibited at home. Um, and sometimes I am a little baffled and confused. Sometimes I do second guess and say, are you sure my child did it? I don't say it to them, but I am thinking it like, are you sure my child did that? Um, but you know, you know how it is. Sometimes teachers are not accurate and a lot of times they are accurate. You just have to discipline your child properly. Make sure they're not telling lies because these kids will tell a quick lie real quick and have you believe it that the teacher done whooped their ass and then totally abused and misused the child. Anyway, um, I think these kids are getting out of line. I think something is in the water. Something is definitely in the water causing people to show out more. I think after COVID-19 um, and being in isolation so much, I think being in isolation might have caused some mental issues for some people. I think people are... Um, the mental issues that they were disguising or that they did not have, maybe they have it now because they've been in isolation. Maybe they have it now because they cannot find jobs. Maybe they have it now because circumstances and things are different. And let's not forget, millions of people died. So a lot of people lost loved ones. A lot of kids lost parents, both parents, or the one single parent, or um, a guardian, uh, a custodian. A lot of kids lost their um, entire life a lot of young adults, a lot of adults, um, a lot of people who had mental issues and was being taken care of by people. They lost people. So um, we have to take all of that into consideration and really offer free counseling and free psychiatry um, to people who are in need of it. And when we see people in need of it, we need to be quick on helping these people because you got people doing crazy shit really you have people shooting people at point blank range for no reason at all and then when i go take my mugshot picture i'm gonna smile and you ask this person later in 30 years why'd you do it they're apologetic they don't know why and that's typical of course we, we see that often but right now is what i'm saying we have the crime happening and then they're going to be saying what's typical which is i didn't mean to i have my head on right if I could redo it, I would redo it. Now, hey, everybody. Here's the teacher. You wanted to hear from the teacher? Here I am. First of all, I want to say I love everybody. Um, thank you for your support. 
Yes, people have been getting threats and some negativity. That's just, it doesn't really matter. At that point, everybody does have an opinion. But I've been working with young people for 22 years. I started out in high school tutoring young folks in elementary. I taught dance, um, cheerleading, drill team. I taught Sunday school, um, uh, praise and worship dance. Uh, like I said, Sunday school, Sunday church, and, and found myself, um, I used to work as an administrator in the office or um, office support in a school district, and then I'm here as a substitute teacher. Thank you. I'm so glad you, you can hear me or can't hear me. Can or can't. Okay. okay. So... I just wanted to say though, in all my 22 years, never have I ever experienced what I experienced this Monday. I've never been attacked by young folks. I love young people. This is why I work with them. I have a heart for them. That young lady attacked me and she went for blood. She took out an inch of my hairline from here all the way to two inches back here. And y'all know that black women have hair issues, okay? I don't understand what it is with black on black crime. Uh oh, black women hating on each other. I never did that. I always show love to my sister, especially to the kids. The kids are our future. So that fake page that was up, that somebody was like, F the kids and F that job. It was never F the kids because the kids are our future. But I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. She was in my space. She was behind the desk. I followed protocol for whoever said that I touched her first, okay? And I tried to call for an administrator or somebody at the office three times. But never in my 22 years working with young people have I ever been attacked. But let me tell you something. These, within a month, there has been a teacher that was knocked unconscious with her head kicked in. Uh, um, twice, two teachers. Another teacher got a gun pulled on her. Um, and like I say, I love kids. My husband said, yeah, I spend my own money. I reward good behavior. I let the kids know that they have something to offer the world. They do, each and every one of them is special in their own way. And the world is waiting for them to share their gifts. But as for me, as much as I love the kids, I cannot put my life or my livelihood in danger anymore. I will be saying goodbye to this profession. I went to school three times for real estate. Oh yes, I'm being faced with charges as well, as well behind this. And so if I get a charge on my record, there goes my career again, period. I have four children. My children would never, you best believe, I raise my kids right. They would never disrespect authority of any kind or an adult. They know to come to me. Only fans is out of the question. I'm not that kind of lady. I grew up in church, okay? But I just wanted to say, I still love the kids. They are our future, but at this point I cannot put my children's livelihood nor my family in this, in this situation to where I'm not getting paid and it may be possible that I might, what I want to pay my money for to go to school for three times yet yeah, I did not think that I would be ending, I, I would not be working the, the last four weeks of school I will have more details on what happened I appreciate everybody that's giving the donations to my husband's um, GoFundMe account. That's awesome. And so many people are leaving the profession. And, and I'm going to have to wash my hands behind this as well. I, I cannot. I can't do this. And I'm not here to talk about what was under my clothes. Okay, that is not even up for discussion. I just, you're hearing it from the teacher right now. I do love kids. Please raise your children. Spend time with them. Love on them. Teach them right and wrong. Teach them to respect authority. If you want to keep a job or go into these professional places, 
You have to follow protocol. He can live without that phone. That's right. You can't be on your phone at a job, period. Now, I know that there is probably some more things that I want to say about these kids fighting a teacher, but I can't quite remember right now. So we're going to move on from that. Um, but, you know, if I remember, I remember. You guys, put your comments below. Write your opinion. Tell me what you think about these topics that I'm talking about. Um, I greatly appreciate it when you guys communicate and talk back to me. And on the podcast as well, guys, make sure you comment and talk back to me. Let me know what you guys think about, um, you know, what I'm discussing and these hot topics and how you feel about me um, and my hosting uh, abilities and what I should do differently or if I should not do anything differently. You guys just love me just the way I am. That would be great. 